Anno 117, Pax Romana just came out, and like previous titles in the series, it's not on Mac, so I had to look for alternatives to get it running on my Apple machine. I tested a bunch of methods, but after all my attempts, I found only two valid solutions that allowed me to play it on my M3 Max MacBook Pro. I'll introduce each method, talk about what performance you can expect, and briefly explain how to get started with it. If at any point you find yourself overwhelmed with all the information, there is a link to our site in the description where you will find a very structured article on how to play the game. Note that both solutions to play Anno 117 on Mac are cloud gaming services. I made an honest try to get it running locally through Crossover and Sikaru Gear, but tough luck. The game just wouldn't start, no matter what combination of settings I tried. But the two cloud methods are still perfectly valid solutions, and I do recommend them. But before you choose which one you want, you'll have to buy the game. To help you, we'll leave links in the description to where you can purchase it, and we'll also add links to discounts when such are available. Now, let's get to the ways to play it. The first method you can use is Boosteroid, the cheapest cloud gaming service that's actually any good. The main draw of cloud gaming is that your machine doesn't matter so long as you can supply it with around 40 megabits of stable internet. And if you've got a faster connection, you can crank up everything to max even in 4K, and you should be more than fine. Anno 117 is one title where you can definitely feel this cloud gaming advantage. This game is both demanding and graphically rich, so it's best experienced when you can play it with high settings without worrying about performance. Cloud gaming gives you exactly that, as long as you've got a decent internet connection. I personally streamed Anno 117 over a 100 megabits per second cable network, and the experience was near native with only occasional resolution dips due to momentary lag spikes. I get that cloud gaming isn't everyone's cup of tea, but it's at least worth checking out. All you have to do to start gaming is follow the link in the description, register for the service, and buy a subscription. Then just search for the game and click play. It's all pretty easy, but we have a how-to tutorial if you need it, and an overview of the service if you want something more in-depth to make up your mind. The next solution is GeForce Now, and it is the largest and most popular cloud gaming service out there. Its pricing is steeper than Boosteroid, but this is somewhat offset by its larger gaming library. Ultimately, the choice between the two depends on personal preference, but I still prefer Boosteroid simply because it gives pretty much the same performance, but at a considerably better price. But if you want the best of the best with all the bells and whistles, go with GeForce Now. Like with Boosteroid, all you need is stable internet, with around 40 megabits per second, and you can play games with 1080p and 60 frames per second without any noteworthy lag. And if you've got a faster internet, say around 50 megabits per second, you can stream with 4K and 120 FPS. Using GFN is similarly simple. Just go to the respective link below, click Join Now, pick a preferred plan, and register. Then download the service's macOS app, launch it and look for Anno 117. Then click play, and after logging into Steam, you can start playing. For those of you who are adamant about sticking to local play over cloud solutions, you shouldn't lose hope. Anno 117 may not be playable through crossover at the moment, but this could change soon. The folks at Codeweavers are constantly updating their software and expanding the pool of gaming titles it can run, so I wouldn't be surprised if this game becomes playable in crossover in the near future. If we learn that this game can now be played locally, we'll make sure to add this information to our dedicated article about playing Anno 117 on Mac that you can access through the description. So this brings us to the conclusion of today's video. If you are interested in exploring more popular gaming titles you can play on your Apple machine, you should check the videos that will now appear on your screen or simply browse through our channel. Also, in case you found this content helpful, we'd greatly appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Take care and see you in the next one.